personalization works on dropsolids.com. So I've just opened an incognito browser and I went to our English homepage and accepting the cookies. So our homepage currently looks like this for first time visitors, all default content and pay attention between the our people part uh, and then below it is these clients are growing with us. So today I'm looking for a job at Dropsolid. So I'm really curious about the careers. I'm seeing this page and um, I'm looking about, about Dropsolid and how life is there. So while just seeing a few pages on the site and then returning to the homepage, in the meantime, I've been identified as a, a new visitor looking to, uh, for a job at Dropsolid. And the homepage is now personalized with an additional section and a big call to action to um, discover our job openings. Not only that, also on the Knowledge Hub page, for example, the small introduction text uh, highlights already a few pieces of content in the Knowledge Hub that could be interesting um, for applicants at DropSolid. So that's the first part, uh, how the visitor experience is. So we have added a taxonomy called um, persona. And we have identified a few segments for who we uh, build specific content on the website uh, for, for who we target and for who we also want to do personalization. So each piece of content on our site, not each piece, but all relevant pieces are tagged with this persona taxonomy. Like for example, the careers page is tagged with the live ad persona, a blog on social media trends is uh, tagged with the marketing persona, and also uh, landing pages can be tagged. So any type of content on the site can be labeled with a taxonomy and a persona. And those personas um, are, is, is what we are using to build up scoring. So the more content you consume on our site, with, which is labeled with a specific persona, the higher the score you build for a marketing, a technology, or um, an applicant persona. And that scoring is what we are using to build segments. So jumping from Drupal now to our customer data platform, um, here is where you get insight to all the profiles in the customer data platform um, and where you see who is visiting your site. I'm going to skip this part for a moment and jump immediately into the segments where you can see the different segments that we have created to do personalization. And the applicant's persona segment is the one I just used in the example. And it has a rule assigned to it that is using scoring. So you see here the DS persona um, uh, uh, tagging builds up a scoring. And I want to say that if the highest scoring on any of the different categories is for life at drop solid, then this visitor is entered into this segment. And this segment, again, is something that we use in Drupal for the personalization. So jumping back into Drupal, and going to the site and the home page. When I go into the layout builder to manage the content of the home page, I see all the different blocks and components that I have. And you see here that this component, which was only visible once I was identified as an applicant, um, for each of the, of the co content blocks actually on the site, you can say that um, you want to add a visibility rule and only show this to, in this case, the applicant's persona. What we've done, for example, on the um, Knowledge Hub page is something similar. We've built four different um, ent uh, introduction texts, like a default text, one for marketeers, one, um, sorry, one for um, uh, experience, marketing, um, and life at drop solid content. And each of those is also has um, like these visibility rules. And the default section 
which we want to show to everyone who is not yet in a specific scoring segments, has the negative uh, condition. So when you are not in any of those segments, you see the default. So those are different ways of doing personalization right inside Drupal, right where you manage the content of your pages using um, insights from the customer data platform. What you can also do as a marketeer when you are building these uh, very dynamic pages is to test them um, in your browser, how it would look like if you would be in the different segments. Because sometimes it's not so easy to, um, to get in a segment. So when I log out, I can use this um, browser plugin And I need to give it access just once. And then you can see this page, for example, uh, the Knowledge Hub page for default visitors, for the applicant's persona, the marketing persona. I think the technical persona has a different introduction text and the applicant's persona as well. And what about returning visitors? Yeah, they just see the default content here. So this way, it's very easy as a marketeer to test the different pages and how they would look like for visitors in any kind of segment on your website. The last part is the analytics part because we're also pushing all the different segments from your CDP, like these ones that we're creating here, into Google Analytics. So for example, here we build a custom report where you can compare the different CDP segments um, with each other and where you can see the conversion rate, the call completions, the session duration, actually any kind of uh, Google Analytics metric that you would like to see. And you can compare segments and you can compare them also to the default population of your website. Now we're just live, so the data that you see in here is not really relevant yet, but it will uh, it will become more and more relevant for marketeers to um, to test their personalization experiments. And the last step, which is not really uh, included in the personalization pack, but if you do the full DXP um, experience and you link your website personalization also to your marketing automation solution, then you would also have these segments available here in your Motic and you can use them like any other uh, Motic profile uh, property for personalizing emails or targeting specific campaigns. Just a few more details uh, to the demo in a more technical point of view. Um, so how are we doing this? First of all, we are um, putting in Drupal the taxonomies uh, into a meta tag on your page. And then in Google Tag Manager, we have the personalization tag. Let's see this one here, which we have extended with a bit of additional scripting. Let me make this a bit bigger. Where, yeah, here it is. We um, read the meta tag and we increase the scoring um, for each persona um, yeah, when a page is hit where this meta tag is available. So this way, the scoring is built up and it's available in the customer data platform to, um, to use to build segments. One additional thing which is also um, interesting for people to have a more of an in-depth view on the profiles surfing, uh, surfing your website is to go via um, yeah, the inspector and then just clicking something. So when you go to the inspector and you uh, uh, search for person or personalization, you see here all the different personalization scripts. 
and you can really see um, at each different page that you visit how your profile is looking at this point. So you can see all the different profile uh, parameters that we're capturing, like the location and the, the device you are using. And you also see the segment names that this person is in. Um, yeah, in this case, I'm in a different um, browser session than I was before. So you see different segments here, the profile IDs, etc. So this way, it's also a, a, a way to debug your website and to see what um, uh, profile data you are capturing on, uh, on each vis visitor. And the last tip I want to hand out is the fact that there is a lot of documentation available on support.dropsolid.com about um, the customer data platform, the personalization, how to build segments, how to debug. Um, like what I just show you is also available here, how to use the JavaScript API for um, also, there's a lot of documentation here, but for also um, doing scoring, like it's right here, um, how do you do it? And also a few use cases are explained uh, that you can do. So a lot of information is here. If you would have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.